So now let's talk about the restrictions that an OCI holder has. So OCI, as the name suggests, it is overseas citizen of India, but it does not enjoy the same rights and freedoms as the citizens of India enjoy. So here are the, some of the restrictions. The first one is voting. Yes, you cannot vote. Uh, next one is the member. You cannot be a member of the legislative assembly, legislative council or the parliament. So you cannot join these. Then you cannot hold high positions like president, vice president, being a judge of the Supreme Court or High Court. So yes, you cannot be uh, appointed to the public service positions unless and uh, until approved by the central government. So there are exceptions, but generally you cannot. So the next uh, exception, as we talked about earlier also, that you cannot acquire the agricultural and plantation lands or farmhouse properties in India. So basically these are the restrictions you should be prepared with. So if you have any such goals, like becoming a judge in the Supreme Court, so if you have any such goals, uh, long-term goals, so we would suggest not going for the OCI and remaining Indian citizens only.